Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today we're going to discuss whether UV light can kill coronavirus. Ultraviolet light, or UV light, has long been used as a way to kill viruses and bacteria, but conventional disinfecting UV light is known to cause skin cancer and cataracts. For that reason, it can't be used in large areas where people are continually exposed. However, researchers at Columbia University are studying a narrow wavelength band of UV light called FAR UVC, which operates at a wavelength of 222 nanometers. Conventional UV light, the one that I mentioned before, operates at wavelengths of 254 nanometers and up. Normally, far UVC light and UVC light in general does not hit the Earth's atmosphere because it's blocked by the ozone layer. The UVA and UVB are the ultraviolet rays that da damage skin and cause cataracts and skin cancer. And those are the rays that reach the Earth's atmosphere from the sun. Far UVC light has been shown to kill influenza and drug resistant bacteria. I'll place a link in the description if you'd like to read more about it. This study showed that far UVC light was able to kill influenza and some forms of drug resistant bacteria. It's under research now for SARS-CoV-2 or the virus that causes COVID-19. It's currently not FDA approved, but likely will be on the market in a several months. This could be a great way for large areas to disinfect against SARS-CoV-2. Because instead of treating patients that have contracted coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2, we could kill this virus before it even enters the system by exposing it to this far UVC light. The great thing about the far UVC light is that it doesn't damage skin cells. So it potentially is very, very safe. As I mentioned, that it's not FDA approved yet, but we're hopeful that it will be in the next few months. I should say that I don't have any financial ties to far UVC light used to combat coronavirus. I mention it here because I want to warn against scams and I wanna make sure that people are understanding that it's far UVC light, the 222 nanometers, that is the wavelength that I'm talking about. Other wavelengths, UVA and UVB ultraviolet light can cause skin cancer and cataracts. So it's very important that you understand that it's a very specific type of UV light that's being studied. But I'm excited for the potential and I think it could open up large spaces because it could kill viruses and bacteria in large arenas where disinfecting with topical disinfectants just isn't feasible. Thanks again for joining me.